Hi, my name is Henry Judicay. I'm a French-Canadian psychotherapist. And over the years, I have made many videos exposing the abuse within the Hare Krishna movement. Unfortunately, that channel has been removed from YouTube and I have now received many letters asking me to give further comments and information about the abuse that has happened in the Hare Krishna movement, especially in the Gurukula or the school system of the Hare Krishna movement. I received a letter a few weeks ago from a gentleman whose two daughters were heavily sexually abused in the Hare Krishna schools from the age of 7 to 11. Both of them are now adults. Both of them have attempted suicide. The father is telling me that he has spent tens of thousands of dollars in therapy and still the daughters are borderline suicidal and are living what we would call a dysfunctional adult life. Very few videos have been done on YouTube about the terrible abuses that has happened in the Hare Krishna movement in the schools in America and in India. Everything from beatings that left young children near death. A few even died in New Vrindavan. The sexual abuse was rampant, both in India and in America. At the time, the Hare Krishna movement was interested in getting as many new members as possible, and they would do absolutely no background check on their new members. And many were a prolific pedophile. One of the most famous one is Kirtanananda and Bhavananda, Charles Basis. But there were dozens of them. There was actually a network of pedophiles that was international. And some of the pedophile in India would send children to America schools and vice versa so that the children would be abused over and over and over again with the most unspeakable forms of pedophilia. And unfortunately, all under the nose of Swami Bhaktivedanta, the founder of the Hare Krishna movement, who had many reports brought to him of pedophilia, but he chose to ignore them. The most famous one was shortly before he passed away, one of the pedophile in Vrindavan, India, had molested most of the kids in the schools. The authority brought that pedophile directly to 
meet Swami Bhaktivedanta in Allahabad in India to see what type of punishment could be given to such a pedophile. Swami Bhaktivedanta, after hearing all that the pedophile had done, simply told them to leave his movement, but he could come back once in a while on Sunday to get a little prashad, a little food, and that was the maximum punishment. Eventually, that pedophile found his way back into the Hare Krishna movement. It is incredible that now more than 20 ex-students of these schools have committed suicide when they were teenager or young adults. And the mouthpiece of the Hare Krishna, which are the present guru, an organization like the Sampradaya Sun online, keep praising the work of Swami Bhaktivedanta, Keep praising him as a pure devotee of Krishna, but never criticize him for the terrible mistake he did in organizing the so-called schools. So one has to understand what is the Hare Krishna movement to begin with. This is not an organization where you practice meditation and explore your own mind and explore your own heart and maybe eventually you become self-realized. This is an organization that tells you from day one, God is Krishna. Blue plays the flute and as a girlfriend called Radha. God Krishna lives on a spiritual planet called Krishna Loka in the spiritual world. And your duty as a new devotee of Krishna is to absolutely fall in love with the blue god to give him all of your time all of your energy all of your possessions now for hippies of the 60s that were already adult that is their free choice if they want to believe that God is blue and they want to fall in love with the blue God that live on a distant planet in the spiritual world what can you do the problem arised when these devotees of Krishna started to make children and the children had to be sent to various Hare Krishna schools. And they were made to believe that Swami Bhaktivedanta was as good as God, or some of the disciples of Bhaktivedanta, like Kirtanananda and others, were as good as God. They were told that they could not experience sexuality before marriage. And then only to reproduce. No masturbation, no dating, sex only for reproduction. So you can imagine the frustration 
of young American and European that grow up in such an organization and by the time they become teenager and the hormones kicks in they become very confused and become very good target for the pedophiles that were rampant in the Hare Krishna movement. There was some sort of settlement where the Hare Krishna was obliged to pay compensation to some of the children that were sexually abused. It was a complete failure as far as I'm concerned. If you were sodomized one or two times by your teacher, maybe they would say, oh, that's worth $5,000. If you were sodomized 50 times and had to give oral sex to your teacher 50 and 100 times, well, that might be worth twenty-five, thirty thousand dollars $30,000. Of the millions of dollars that were distributed, half of it went to the lawyers. And the student, many of them did not come forward to say, hey, I was sodomized. I had to give oral sex to 10 of my teacher. They are so ashamed of what have happened. They prefer to have, they prefer to stay silent. And those people did not get any money, suffered in silence, and many now are dead. They've committed suicide. Some people say this was all due to the disciple of Swami Bhaktivedanta, and I say that Swami Bhaktivedanta knew exactly what was happening many reports of abuse were given to him, he did absolutely nothing. Why did he not do anything? Because imagine in India, for example, if the police and the newspaper of the time would have printed that the schools of the Hare Krishna movement were a nest of pedophiles. It would have been a scandal of such proportion that probably all the schools would have been closed. It was preferable to tell the pedophile, you go away somewhere in Australia, we don't want to see you again, but you know, come on Sunday, we'll give you some food than to take him to the police in India, to take the pedophiles that were known in America to court. Even the very big one like Bhavananda Child Basis, who possibly abused dozens of kids under his care, sincere devotees of Krishna, that had children, were asked to go out and distribute the literature of Swami Bhaktivedanta, distribute as many magazines, distribute as many Bhagavad Gita as you can, and don't worry, we will take care of your kids. And those people that had no ability to distribute books or distribute magazines were put in charge of the schools and many of them were pedophiles.